Hi, I'm Dr. Tala, a board certified neonatologist, and today we're going to be talking about carbon dioxide monitors. These are fantastic little tools that we use all the time in the NICU as well as in resuscitation. And basically what happens is, is that they will change color when they are detecting carbon dioxide. So really we use them to verify that a baby is actually intubated, that the tube is in the right place, and also that the baby is getting effective ventilation. The NRP or the neonatal resuscitation program recommends that we should be using these entitled tidal colorimetric devices, which basically means that it just changes color when it detects CO2. We should be using these CO2 detection devices every single time we intubate. In fact, the two most effective ways of knowing that you are intubated is by having a rising heart rate, so your heart rate's going up, and you've got a color change on the PD cap. The NRP says that if you are correctly intubated after giving between eight to 10 positive pressure breaths, we should be seeing a color change on the PDCAP. PDCAP is a trade name, by the way. There are lots of different manufacturers that make different types of monitors. So this is the one that I'm going to be using today. The vast, vast majority of them turn from like purple to yellow when they are detecting CO2. Remember that the amount of carbon dioxide in air is super low, like less than 0.03%. So normally, a lot of these detectors are like a purple color. And then when they're exposed to carbon dioxide, it will become a more yellow color. As they're exposed to more and more carbon dioxide, that color will be like a deeper yellow gold, rather than just a kind of like, is it turning? Is it turning? Is it still purple? Also remember that breathing is oxygenation, so taking the oxygen in, and ventilation, so getting rid of the carbon dioxide. So if you see carbon dioxide coming out, then you can feel a lot better that this baby is adequately breathing. We don't just use these detectors in the delivery room, and I'm gonna cover that in a second, exactly how we use them with both a mask as well as an endotracheal tube. So I've just realized I'm still wearing gloves but there are lots of other places that we can actually use these detectors. For example, in our unit, we started using them when we are doing LISA or less invasive surfactant administration. So after we put the catheter down below the vocal cord, so we intubate with the catheter, we are putting the detector on to make sure that that catheter is in the right place. So for example, using it with LISA is one of them. When we used to always give surfactant to babies that had um, that were actually intubated, I liked keeping the tube on as I was giving the surfactant because I could then tell whether the surfactant was blocking the tube or not. So if you're actually giving surfactant and the color goes purple and then doesn't go back to yellow, then you've probably got your tube clogged up with surfactant. Also, sometimes you're not sure if a baby on a breathing machine that's decompensating is actually extubated or not. So even if the baby's been in the unit for a long time, sometimes it's just helpful putting on a little detector and seeing, okay, is it actually turning yellow or not? Or is that tube out? Even before getting the x-ray or whatever else. So really lots of different uses for this brilliant little device. So how do we actually use these detectors? Well, the first thing is, is you actually have to know where they're found and remember to bring it with you. Remember, they are all single use. They often work for some time on the same baby, um, but every single time you go to a delivery or you need one, you have to get a new one out. This one is expired, so I really hope that it works. So generally, these, compared to a lot of other things in the NICU, are pretty easy to open. So you open it up and you can see that with just the regular air, it's a very purple color. Can you see that the color right there on the detection device is completely purple? That means that it's not exposed to any carbon dioxide. Okay, so let's say that you are in the delivery room and you have had to intubate a baby. So we intubate the baby and now you want to make sure that the baby really is intubated. So you take your detector and you attach it directly to the endotracheal tube instead of actually the way that you were going to give positive pressure breath, whatever the way 
that you were going to do it, normally we attach that directly to the endotracheal tube. So here, this is going between the endotracheal tube and whichever mechanism you're using to give the positive pressure breaths. Then like we said, with eight to 10 breaths, you are going to end up with a change in the, uh, in the color if you've got adequate ventilation. I'll demonstrate that color change in a bit. But for now, I also want to make a point that we can also use this even when we're just doing um, bag mask ventilation. So babies that haven't actually been intubated and just need a little bit of positive pressure ventilation in the unit, we can also use the color detector to actually show us that we are getting adequate ventilation. And in fact, a recent study showed that the color will change to yellow even quicker than the heart rate actually going up in some of these babies. So again, we're putting the detector between the mask as well as between the way that you're administering the actual uh, positive pressure breaths. So you can see it right there. And again, if we were getting active ventilation, we would see that that purple is going all the way to gold. So what does the color change actually look like? Well, it's no longer purple and it will go this yellowish color. So that's when you can feel really good that you are adequately intubated, you're intubated in the right place, and that you are getting adequate ventilation. What could be going on if you think you've intubated a baby and you're giving positive pressure ventilation, but that detector is not going from purple to gold? What are we missing? Well, obviously the first thing is, is that the tube might be in the wrong place. Maybe you thought you were in, but actually the endotracheal tube has gone into the esophagus. And that's why you're not getting any CO2 out from there. Sometimes as well, if the tube goes really deep, so for example, if it goes like right main stem bronchus, as well, that doesn't necessarily get the carbon dioxide in enough quantities to turn it as well. Sometimes it might just take longer if the ET tube is too deep. The second thing is, is that maybe there's just poor ventilation. So even if you think you're giving the baby enough breaths, you're not really getting any of that CO2 out from the alveoli so that it actually reaches outside the endotracheal tube and changes the color on that colorimetric device. That could be just because we're not like giving enough tidal volume or it could also be that you've got some sort of blockage somewhere. So you've got like loads of meconium or you've got secretions or something. And so it's actually stopping the CO2 from reaching the device. The third case where you might have the tube in the right place and it's just still not turning yellow or gold is if you have really decreased perfusion. So for example, you're in a code and the heart rate's gone down and it's not pumping well, even after you intubate the baby, you're not necessarily gonna get carbon dioxide at the level of the detector because the heart isn't pumping the blood around the body and so that carbon dioxide isn't getting back to the lungs to even get out of the lungs. So that's why sometimes in the delivery room, you intubate a baby, you know you're in, so you don't wanna take it out, but the PD cap is just not changing, it's not changing color. It takes a little bit of time to actually get that perfusion going before we start getting the CO2. Sometimes, as you all know, we actually have to do the chest compressions or give epinephrine to create enough perfusion to get that carbon dioxide out. And another reason is, if you've intubated with like a really small tube for the baby, so you've got like a 4.5 kilo baby, but the only tube that you had available at the time was like a 2.5 ET tube, if you try putting the detector on the end of that, it's also possible that you're not going to end up getting a color change just because so much of that CO2 might be coming out around the tube. Very rare case. I actually once had a baby on ECMO whose endotracheal tube came out. I can't remember the story behind that, but the endotracheal tube came out and I re-intubated the baby and then I put the CO2 monitor on the end didn't change color and I'm like, okay, well, that's weird. This baby isn't really moving around, easy intubation. Did it again, again, didn't change color. Got another colorimetry, the whole thing. I'm like, I don't really know what else to do because like, I don't know what other hole to put this in. So eventually we got an x-ray and whatever, and obviously it is in the trachea, but because the ECMO machine was kind of taking all the CO2 away, it was doing the job of the lungs, there was no CO2 to come up through the lungs to actually change the color of the detector. 
obviously very easy to realize afterwards. And the last thing that you should consider is there's something faulty with the actual detector. That's rarely the case. Normally if the detector is faulty, then it's showing yellow all the time rather than staying the color purple. But really those are all the things that you should consider if it's not changing color. If you're really sure you're intubated and you're giving good positive pressure ventilation, just wait. Give it a little bit of time, get that perfusion going. Don't necessarily just keep intubating because it's not turning gold. Sometimes the opposite happens, that even if the endotracheal tube is not in the trachea, sometimes the detector looks like it's actually gone gold. Honestly, probably the most common reason for this is that the detector was expired or just isn't working and it's just staying gold. So it's no longer detecting a higher amount of CO2, it's just being tampered with or whatever. Also, if any secretions actually touch the inside of the paper, so for whatever reason, if there's epinephrine or atropine or surfactant that gets into the paper on the detector, then that in itself could turn that yellow, even if it isn't in the right place and you're not actually detecting the carbon dioxide. Okay, that was it. I'm sure that you all use these in your units. Let me know which type of detectors that you actually use. Once you start using them, you become very reliant on them. Even if we see the heart rate go up and chest rise and the baby get better, it's really nice to see that gold color. If you reach this far, then please like this video and consider joining our channel membership if you want to be part of a really fun neonatal community. Again, thanks so much for being here.